Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad and today we're looking at map lights or reading lights as some people call them on a Honda. This particular vehicle is a Honda Pilot, but all Hondas of the same age have this same setup here. And the issue is whenever I turn on or try to turn on the lights, they don't work. This one went out first. It's been out for a year or two, uh, but this one still works. So we weren't super worried about it. We went in and replaced the bulb in both with a new LED, but then this one still didn't work. And this one worked for about two weeks and then it quit working also. So today I'm going to show you what is most likely the issue with our reading lights or map lights here. And the first thing we need to do is remove the lenses. And the easiest way I found to do that is to push in on the button side and then take a, a thin object like a butter knife or a long skinny flathead screwdriver and to pry down on the other side and then they slide out and I'll show you the clips once it's out. So there are little clips on each end here. You gotta make sure that you don't break. So prying from this middle side seems to do the trick of popping those out without breaking them. So I'm gonna set these to the side for now and I'll go ahead and remove the other side as well. Once you feel a click, you can pull those out. And the next thing we need to do is remove the light bulbs that are in there. And you can use your fingers or you can use your screwdriver to pry those out. These are the LED bulbs that I replaced the original style with. And I'm going to remove both of those and set them to the side. And with all that out of the way, you now see these white pins right here. These are actually the switches that push in to turn on and push in to turn off. And I think that is our culprit. So to get those out, we're gonna to have to remove this whole assembly here. To remove this assembly, you'll see that there's a screw on each side that we're gonna to have to remove first and then the whole assembly will pull out. And the screws in mine are Phillips head. So I just get a Phillips head screwdriver and remove both of them. I'm gonna try to catch it here so it doesn't fall. And do the same thing with the other side. Now with both screws removed, I should be able to grab right here in the center and wiggle this out. I felt it release on the right side. Now I got to get the same on the left. Feels like the cable on the right side has hung up a little bit. So I'm gonna have to get my finger in there and find out why and wiggle it down. All right, there are two cables on the back of this. One is on this side and the other is back here on this side, right behind this switch here. It actually comes into this area, but I don't have to remove those cables in order to get these switches out. All I need is a flat skinny object to put in beside the switch right here and then pry it out and you'll feel it unclip. So that switch just came right out. I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other side, sliding the thin flat object in between the switch and prying out, prying out just a little bit and it pops right out. If you pry out too hard, the switch could go flying. I went on amazon.com and was able to purchase some new switches that say that they will fit. Uh, they do look a little bit different. They're not black on the bottoms like the OEM, but the holes are in the same place. It's hard to see them on this black switch, but there are three holes right here in the same location as the white one. The profile looks the same on the bottom and the base is the same thickness. So they feel very similar with their click. 
These should just slide right back in where the old ones came out and the three holes need to line up with the three copper wires coming off the back side here. So I'm gonna slowly slide it in and I feel it snap into place. Now I'll do the same thing on the other side now that I know where it goes. And once I get it lined up, I can snap it into place. With the two new clips installed, I need to push this back up into place and you'll feel it click right in. And now I need to put my screws back in. I needed to push it up a little bit more to get that screw in. Now the same thing on this side. With our screws in place, I can now put the LEDs back in. Now with the bulbs in place, I can put my lens covers back on. And I like to start with one end and get it where I can feel it's in place and then push the opposite end in. Do the same thing with this side. With both switches replaced and new bulbs in, they now both work. And notice that the light is somewhat of a white or what I call a blue LED light. I purchased my LED bulbs on amazon.com and I'll provide a link in the description and in the pinned comment to both the switches I used and the LED bulbs I used. But the, um, my wife prefers the yellow light of the original bulbs, but it is difficult to find the LEDs for these in the soft white, which is what that yellow light is called. I'm gonna swap the bulbs out so you can see the two different colors that I'm talking about. So I'm gonna switch this side out. that to turn it off. I'll pull this panel bulb out and insert the original bulb here. I'm going to put the cover back on and now when I turn them on you'll notice the older yellow style soft white versus the bright white here. So it's all personal preference at this point. Let me get this switch back to the LED so that they both match. So unless you want to buy the soft white bulbs, which I'll link as well, which are the older filament style bulbs instead of the LEDs, then you're gonna have these bright white LED bulbs. So we're gonna test these out since I already have them and see how she likes them. And if she doesn't like them after a week or two, I'll go back and buy the soft white original style bulbs. I do wanna share one more thing that I've heard on other YouTube videos or read, and read on forums is that these may not be completely bad. Some people have said that they simply sprayed compressed air in there and then switched the side. So if they were originally this way, they mounted them this way and they started working again. So if you're in a pinch and don't have the few dollars that it takes to buy the new ones on Amazon, try that first. So pull your right one and your left one out and then switch them to the opposite side and see if it works for you. It's been about two weeks since I replaced our bulbs with these brighter LEDs. And you'll notice that I still have the yellow filament style in the back, but we've really enjoyed these brighter bulbs because it fully illuminates the front seat of the car at night and we can see everything even down into the floorboards. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order some more LEDs and replace these bulbs in the back as well. I hope you found this video about replacing the Honda map light switches beneficial. It seems to be a problem with a lot of their models of vehicles. If you have any other questions about Honda vehicles that I might can help you with, make sure you leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to respond. Subscribe to my channel and click that notifications bell so you'll see whenever I post new videos.
if you want to see more behind the scenes footage, make sure you follow me on Instagram at tightwideDIY. Click any of the videos shown on the screen right now and they'll open right up on your device. I hope you guys have a great day.